What? Next you'll be asking me, oh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I found out. Chicken! Which came first, chicken or the egg? Tell me! <laughs> Here's mission 2110. Answer the question! Previously on mission 2110. The only way we can defeat the Roboids is by taking away their power. And the only way we can do that is to steal their bio rods. You need to make this mission count. Get him. Try not to get trapped by those shades. He's coming. Five seconds, recruits. It's every recruit for themselves. Be careful of those shades. Yeah, yeah. Three. Keep your concentration. Yellow! That's the wrong step. Remember your panic button. Try not to get trapped. Left! Try to keep cool. Right! You have fallen victim to the vaporizer. Mission 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you are about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. They're strong, almost unstoppable, but we can do it. We can take back Earth if we work together. We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us on Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you. This is Mission 2110. The world is in darkness, lost in a nightmare. A nightmare of steel and cybernetics, built by humanity to help it. And now, for all I know, I'm all that's left. I am Caleb, sworn to defeat the Roboids by stealing these bio-rods, which give them their energy. I'm helped by teams of brave youngsters who've traveled through time to be here with me at Futuregate, base of the Roboids. Can we defeat them? Only time will tell. This is Mission 2110. Aha! My trio of troops. I'm well aware of how our team has been shrunk by the vaporizer. A very sad business. Losing, dear Lois, but a clear reminder to us all of just how deadly Futuregate can be. But I want you recruits to know that you can carry on and laugh in the face of danger. That you can do these missions with a spring in your step and a smile on your face. So come on, recruits, show me these smiles. Callum, I think you need a filling. Don't be cheeky. OK, what about these springs in your step? Hey, Kieran, you're not going to scare off any roboids bouncing around like that. We'll agree to disagree. Huh. OK, then what about these laughs in the face of danger? Laugh it up. <laughs> ah, Fern, you've clearly laughed in the face of danger before. Yes, yes, I have. So, recruits, are you going to steal plenty more of these bio rods for me? Yes! Well, I'm very glad to hear it, because I'm wiping the slate clean. As of now, your bio rod tallies are all reduced to zero. Yes! For another four missions. I need to find only the best recruit to battle Neuros. Are you guys in? Yes! Well, come on then, recruits, because this one is a hot little number. <laughs> Things are certainly heating up down here in Cargo Hold 3. And you three are about to go up against three of the toughest roboids around. The workers. <laughs> otherwise known as the drone class. These heavy metal monsters do all the jobs around Futuregate that no one else wants to do. From crushing boulders in their pincer claws to mucking out the shades. Ugh, so you'd best steer clear. This mission, recruits, is called Flamethrower. But don't worry, you won't be throwing any flames. Instead, you'll be throwing these. Aerodynamic rotating projectiles, or air rotating projectiles, for short. It's up to you to throw these over the heads of the workers and into those cage containers behind them. For every correct aim, you can step forwards and grab yourselves a bio bomb, up to a maximum of three. But you must be careful, recruits. This is a timed mission. And as soon as you have 30 seconds left, the workers will start to close in. When that happens, I suggest you make sure you can get out fast. Good luck. Get lobbing. Go for it. <laughs> Mission on. OK, 
Okay, recruits, get throwing! This is a test of your accuracy and strength against those nine-foot metal uglies. Yes! That's your first one. Go for it, Kieran. Three buyer rods each up for grabs, but you have to get them before those workers start crashing forward. Unlucky, Kieran, but you're still ahead of the others. Hold your nerve. That's your first one there, Callum. Go for it. Second one in. Now go grab another buyer rod. The drone class roboids are getting agitated, recruits, but try to keep calm and get those shots on target. Those workers are about to step forward. When they do, you have just 30 seconds left. Yes, Fern, that's your first one. Yes, that's yes. your last one, Kieran. Grab that fire rod, get out of there. The enemy is advancing, recruits. The pressure's on now to complete this mission. Come on, Fern and Callum, get to it. Aim carefully, recruits. There's no time to waste. That's your second one. Go for it, Callum. But be careful of getting too close to those pincers. They could do you some serious damage. <laughs> recruits, those workers are getting dangerously close. You have just a matter of seconds left. In those panic bones, get out of there. I was worried about the robot in front of me who was just standing there going like that. He was really scary. I think it did really well because I got two bio rods, but Kieran got three, so in the next mission I'm going to make sure I get more bio rods than him. Callum struggled because, one, he's uh, quite a lot smaller than me, um, and I don't think he could see over the robot properly. Ah, those balls of flame were pretty scary. Lucky we didn't singe any recruits in that last mission. Saves me the job of filling in the lost recruit forms. There's one thing I hate more than roboids, it's paperwork. Ugh. We still don't seem to be making any sort of dent in their numbers. I wonder if we'll ever manage to turn this into a fun cruise. <laughs> Junk cruise, more like. Oh, well. Time for the next mission, and time to face those stinky old shades. Ugh. Well done, Kieran. Fern, Callum, you guys had a close shave there in Flamethrower, but you used your panic buttons and got out just in time. Good work. Now, this next mission is going to involve the shades. You probably knew that already. Cargo Hold 4 is absolutely crawling with the stinky little blighters. The byproduct of the Roboid's destruction of the human race in the latter part of the 21st century, the shades now serve their mechanical masters. They will never attack you, at least they haven't so far, but they will try to make your life difficult, and you must never, never touch them. There are five bio rods up for grabs in this next yes. mission, which I call Shade Grid. It's a test of your logic and involves these luminous bars and a whole bunch of circuit blocks. The grid itself is made up out of 12 squares, which can only be formed by locking the bars into position. You're looking to box in the shades, which will be standing at various points around the grid. Enclose one, and that shade will release one bio rod. Good luck, recruits, and plan your moves carefully. Go for it! Shade grid. Mission on. Five shades guarding five bio rods. All you have to do is lock in a shade to unlock one bio rod. Each recruit has to place their colored bar in position one at a time. Think logically and plan ahead. Think about what the other recruits are likely to do next. Don't be hasty, think carefully. Remember recruits, if you complete a square, then you can move again. Box in a shade and you will release one bio rod. Five bio rods are available, so this could be very good news for some of you. Back to you, Fern. Are you still confident about your plan? Kind of. <laughs> OK, Callum, five bio rods are still in play. And after this, there will be only one more mission until you face the vaporizer. So those bio rods are all important. No squares and no bio rods so far. Kieran, this is not a team game. You must outwit your fellow recruits. It's gonna go here. That's 
won the square. Fern, that's your first square. You've earned yourself another turn. Hold your noses, recruits, as you move around the grid. Some of those shades haven't washed in over 40 years. And maybe this plan of yours has paid off. That's another turn. So take another bar, Fern. Will this move result in your first fire run? Remember, recruits, if you touch a shade, you are automatically out of the mission. Congratulations, Fern. The recruit that thinks ahead, that thinks logically, is sure to succeed in this mission. How are you feeling, Fern? A bit worried, because if I put this anywhere that makes a square, then the next person's going to get all the buy rods. Is that part of your strategy? No. Think about it, Fern. That bar has to be placed on the grid. It doesn't matter where I put it, because he's just going to get it all, isn't he? <sighs> what are you thinking, Callum? Uh, I'm sort of happy because I could get a bar rod now. So. Careful, Callum. Congratulations, Callum. That's your first buy a rod, yes. and you've earned yourself another turn. So grab a bar and think hard about your next move. Well, that's another square there, Callum, so you have indeed earned yourself another move. This all seems to be falling into place for you, Callum. I'm really happy now. I think I could get the rest. Easy does it, Callum. Congratulations, Callum. That's your second by a rod. Kieran, how are you feeling? Really annoyed, cos I know he's gonna get the other four now. Another square completed means another turn. Easy oh. does it, Callum. I think I could get the rest. Got the by a rod there, Callum, but be careful. Yes. So, Fern, you think Callum's stolen your plan? Is there anything you'd have done differently? No, because if I put the rod anywhere else, he would have gotten it anyway. Ah, uh, it's just the way it goes, isn't it? Right, Callum, who's earned himself another move. It looks like Callum is about to take his fourth bio rod and the final bio rod of this mission. Gently does it, Callum. Don't risk brushing against that shade. Congratulations, Callum. That's your fourth bio rod. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really happy. I think this was a great mission for me because I got four bio rods. Well, good work. Now let's get out of here, recruits, and on to the next mission. The shade grip was really tense because we all had different tactics and everything. And when Fern put down a rod, it led to me getting all four bio rods, which I'm really, really pleased about. I want to prove to the boys that girls can do anything that they can do. And I'm really going to prove it to them. Just because I'm not doing well now doesn't mean I won't win. I'm really, 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 really annoyed because I was in the lead and now I'm in second. And I'm just quite disappointed because there's only one mission before the vaporizer. And I really don't want to get vaporized. This is the news at 2110. I'm Caleb. Here are the headlines. Three recruits battle a worker and live to fight another day. Callum leads with six bio rods. Praise is all round. Fern trailing behind. Must try harder. And finally, hero Caleb, devilishly handsome, continues to save world. Amazing! And now the forecast. Plenty of roboids around, lots of shades coming in from the east. Neuros, looking frosty, refuses to budge in southern Futuregate. And that's all the news. Good night. Da 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 da. Cybell. Cybell? Hello, Caleb. You don't mind if I don't call you Mum, do you? Only that's just way too freaky. If that's what you want. Look, I have to ask. What happened to you, to Laura Gant? She was just flesh and blood, wasn't she? Of course she was. So how did she 
you end up... I told you that you were ill, Caleb. The virus that attacked you turned on me as well. When I chose to put your body into cryostasis, the clock was running out for both of us. What did you do? We were experimenting with two systems to download human consciousness. Basically digitizing a human mind, personality, maybe even soul. Project C, cybernetic, and Project N, neurobiological. Project C demonstrated the best results. You downloaded yourself onto a computer? Cybel, mother of the gods. It was the only way I could be sure that something of me would still be here when you woke. And you never gave up on me? Never. Which is why you must never give up. I saved you because you are my son. Because I love you. But you must save humanity because you're the only one that can. Okay, recruits. We're here in Cargo 5 for your next mission, which is also your very last chance to grab yourself some bio rods before you go face to face against the dreaded vaporizer one more time. This is the combat training facility. This is where roboids are turned into hardened tools of destruction. And this one is no exception. Check out the bad guy. This is one of the most fearsome and menacing of all roboids, the battle class variety. Otherwise known as a war droid, these guys are furious. More angry than a gladiator who's had his sandals pinched. So you'll be pleased to know I'm sending you into the combat zone one by one to confront our kettlehead friend face to face. Show me some battle moves. Not three bad. Now, the aim of this mission is to grab three bio rods from the far end of the room and swap them into the power boxes on the opposite wall. This will reverse the polarity of the power feeding the can head, causing it to short circuit. Manage to get all three, and it'll shut down completely, allowing you to grab a fourth bio rod from its back. Yes. You need to outwit, outpace, and outclass the enemy at every turn if you want to be successful. Take a look at those hazard markings around the combat zone. If you step onto or outside of them, you're automatically out. And I'm playing tough on this one, recruits. You have just one minute to complete your mission. Understood? Yes. Good luck, guys. Callum, you're up first. Go for it. Get robo dodging! Mission on. This is your first one on one battle against a roboid. Callum, your time starts now. That war droid is ferocious, so be careful. Remember, the aim of this mission is to reverse the polarity of the power in this area to short circuit that war droid. That's it, Callum. Dodge past him on the way back. You've got to get that fire rod into the power box. Good work. Slam it in the box and hit that button. That's one processor blown, Callum. You're going down, Roboid. Go for it. Come on, Callum. Let's see if we can get you two or even three more. Well done. Be careful of that bar. You've got to face that war droid again, Callum. Brilliantly dodged. Get your skates on. You're going strong, but that's just 30 seconds left. Let's bust another circuit. You have to be quick. Time is ticking away. You can do it, Callum. Come on, let's get that third fire rod. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds, Callum. Go on, recruit. Smack that button and let's short circuit this box. Brilliant stuff, Callum. You've reversed the polarity and zapped that war droid. Job done. Yes! That's one roboid defeated. Congratulations. What have you got to say to that war droid, Callum? Haha, <laughs> I defeated you, war droid. Yes! So watch out, war droid. I've just taken one down. I can take down another. Mission on. Come on, Kieran. I want to see you match Callum's efforts. We're looking for four bio rods and one more decommissioned war droid. Great dodge, Kieran. Let's get that first bio rod. We've got to swap that into the power box at the opposite end. Got to get past him somehow, Kieran. That war droid's playing hardball. All the more reason to toast his electronics. Looks like that war droid's blown a fuse. Good stuff, Kieran. 30 seconds, Kieran. 
You're running out of time. You're going to have to be quick. You must never step outside the hazard zone. If you do, you'll be zapped out of the mission. Fantastic. Hit the button, Kieran. Another circuit board busted. Great dodge, Kieran. There we go. Let's grab that third fire on, Kieran. You don't have long left. Come on, quickly. Now hit that button and let the sparks fly. Fantastic work, Kieran. Now go grab that final bio bar. Congratulations, Kieran. With just seconds to spare, four bio rods are yours. What would you like to say to that war droid? I beat you. It was amazing to take down the war droid, and it felt really, really good. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to go on from here and become Caleb's ultimate recruit. Mission on. Fern, the pressure's on to make it a clean sweep of war droid wasting. That's it, you've got to be fast on your feet to outwit that war droid. Now grab that first bio rod and let's get it safe for you. That roboid is perilously close, Fern. That's it, stick it in the power box. And hit that button, Fern. Well done, Fern. You've zapped your first circuit. Go get another bio rod. Fern, you can't afford to make mistakes like that. Time is ticking. You've only got 30 seconds left. You can do this. You've got to be light on your feet, Fern. That's it. Watch out for those hazard markings. Excellent work. You've got 10 seconds now, Fern. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's mission over. You're out. When I was standing there, getting ready to start, it was growling at me. It was really hard to dodge it because I didn't think it could move that quick, to be honest. I wouldn't go up against one of those again unless I really, really had to. Vaporizer coming up. Pretty nervous. Never gets any easier. I need something to relax me. I need something that always makes everything all right. Cup of tea. According to the recruits, this is the answer to everything. Oh, and it's nice and hot too. Mmm. Lovely. Oh, that's working. I feel all calm and and ready to face welcoming another recruit to join Millie in the ultimate battle. Brilliant. I think next time I'll order a pot. Maybe a cosy as well. OK, recruits, we've been here before. The deadliest of missions, and this time it's even more deadly. The vaporizer takes no prisoners, and two of you will fail in this mission. Only one of you will remain to join me in the final phase. This time, you're going to be facing the very spooky, scary, and stinky shades. Trust me, they will make your lives difficult. And remember, you must never touch one. If you do, you will be automatically vaporized. At the start of the mission, you will take up position at the far sides of the grid. In the center is your holy grail, a bio rod with so much energy and life force. It will guide my successful recruit to our final quest to shut down the Roboid's empire. Yes. As before, you will move across the vaporizer one step at a time. In turn, the shades will also take one step each. However, unlike before, this time you will have no way of knowing in which direction the shades are about to move. That, my friends, will be decided by the vaporizer itself. If you have to step into a space occupied by a shade, or allow one of them to step into yours, then it's mission over. And I'm sorry, recruits, on the vaporizer, you will not have your panic buttons to get you to safety. Callum, as the recruit who's collected the most bio rods, you will take the first step, followed by Kieran, then Fern. Good luck, recruits, and this time to two of you. Goodbye. Yeah. vaporizer. Mission on. Recruits, you are about to face the vaporizer once again. Only this time, you're up against those horrible, stinking shades. One 
final by a rod to grab. Forward! Forward! Forwards! The lights are green, so that's a right step for the shades. You have to avoid the shades at all costs. Left! Step into their path or allow them to step into yours, and you will be vaporized. The vaporizer has turned green again, so that's another right move for those shades. Only one recruit will succeed in this mission. Forward! Forward. How's it smell down there, Fern? Stinks. <laughs> The lights are blue, so that's a forward step for the Shades. Try not to get trapped, otherwise the Shades will grab you. Left! Right! Left! The Vaporizer has turned blue, so that's a forward move for the Shades. Only one of you will survive. Two will be vaporized out of Mission 2110 for good. Forward! Those shades are getting very close. Right! Forward! The vaporizer has turned purple, so that's a left move for the shades. Fern and Callum, you're neck and neck. But Kieran, if you want to catch up, you must think logically. Right! Callum, watch out! One touch and you'll automatically be vaporized. Right! The vaporizer has turned green, so that's a right move for the shades. Forward! 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 The lights are green, so that's a right step for the shades. Fern and Callum, you are both one step away from grabbing the super bio rod, but the recruit who stepped first continues to have right of way. Callum, take your final step into my elite team. Go grab that bio rod and power down the vaporizer. Yes. Callum, you did it. You have battled through 12 missions, collected an awesome 20 bio rods, and in doing so, you even managed to take out a few roboids along the way. What do you make of that? It feels amazing. I didn't think I'd get this far, but as I have, bring it on, Roboids. Well, Callum, that super bio rod is your golden ticket to join Millie in the final stage of battle. As for the other two, they did their duty well. Maybe one day we'll find out if they landed safely back in the 21st century. Until then, Mission 2110 continues. It's always the next time with you, Caleb. Just carry on with your pathetic plan. Let the children come right into my path. I'll pick them off one by one. While you continue to believe that your plan to defeat me is taking shape, my plan to destroy you is as strong as ever. And so are the Roboids. How did the Roboids take over our planet? The answers lie in the archive. Click on Mission 2110 now. Welcome back. Today, me and Harker are having a right old lol, trying to write the funniest joke of all time. In it, in it, in it, in it. What, what is it, Harker? I've got that? a joke, I've got a joke. Go on, hit me, hit me. With um, a joke, not physically. <laughs> there was a man. Uh, right, and there was a man. That's it. <laughs> it's a human man. That, that's not a joke, really, is it? Mm -mm. It's just a thing you observed. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, luckily for you guys at home, I, as you all know, as well as being a CBC presenter, I'm a world-famous stand-up comedian. Really? Kind of. Uh, and my stand-up roots go way back to the great, 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 great Uncle Tobias, who was the first ever Victorian comedian. Good evening, gentlemen. It is me, Tobias Sterling, comedian extraordinaire. Now time for joke number one. OK, here we go. Strap in. Uh, how many... Victorian gentleman, does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, what's a light bulb? You, you know, a light bulb, the, the bulbs with the light in them. The, the Get new. off! <laughs> Wait, 
Well, I've got my grade A material here. Okay, Keep here we go. It. No, it's about telegrams. Okay, here we go. I was sending a telegram. Okay, yeah. 